So in this series I want to show you how incredibly simple it is to um, use local notifications and push notifications in your iOS app. In this series I'm first going to cover how to set up the permissions for your notifications, request permission. Then I'm going to show you how to just set simple standard local notifications set on a timer. Then how to add to those with action notifications which allow you to show buttons in notification center that let the user choose what to do without even opening your app or to choose where in your app to go when that notification is shown to them. And finally in this series I'm going to show you how to handle both those notification types with APNS or push notifications from a web server from a website. So to get this series started I'm just going to create a single view application call it notifications. So really simple app I'm just going to use a text field And of course, I need an outlet for the text field, so we can get text out of there. We're just going to set that text into our notification and get the action of our button. Okay, so we have our interface ready. First thing we need to do is ask for permission and register the sort of intent that our app wants to send notifications to the user. In theory, you should be setting up a more complicated system than I'm going to show you in this video, but this simple system is good enough for our purposes. Really, you should be asking for permission later after your user has used your app, but the way I'm showing you it gets you your permissions, but it asks for permission the first time your app is opened. To do that, and so, that, of course, we're asking for permission up here, and the application did finish launching with options. So, first, let's go application dot register user notification settings. This is a particular setting for local notifications. So, click the enter again at the end, go to the end. And as you can see, we come up with two options. We want the second option giving us the option of our types and a option for categories, which we're going to use later in our action notification. But for now, we're just going to set the three standard types of notification on iOS, which is alert, UI, I'm just going to copy and paste this because it's easier, dot, and then badge, and finally, as you can see, these have been separated by this straight up line, and finally, sound. So those are the three standard types of notifications or permissions that you need to be sending notifications to the user. Just press tab again. Okay, like I said, we're going to use this later for our action notifications, but for the meantime, it can be nil. Double tap. And what's this problem? I'll get rid of that. So there we have our registering notification settings. This is telling iOS this app is using, these notific using notifications for these settings. So now we have our permission, we can go back to our view controller, and down here. This is where we're going to set our notifications. The first thing we need to do is create a variable for our notification. So we're going to call this notification. So notifications are of the type UI local, local notification, because of course for our series we're doing local notifications. Set that in there, enter, notification. Now we're going to set the properties. So the first property we want to set is the title. We'd like to just move. Let's just move down. So alert title. This is of course the title of the notification. We're going to call this your message. Enter notification again. Dot alert body. This is of course the body of the notification. So in here we're actually going to use the text from that text field up there. So text field dot text. Enter down again and the final thing we want to set is fire date. So this is the actual time is the type NS date that we want our notification to come up on the device. To do that we're going to go notification again fire date equals NS date because that's the type that accepts. 
So ns date. Why is this not working? So there's ns date. Open bracket. As you can see, you've got a range of options. The option that I'm going to be using is time interval since now. This is the number of seconds in the future that the NS state that this is returning we want it to be. I'm going to use 10 seconds. So 10 seconds after we press that button, our notification will fire. So we've set up our notification. Now we just need to set it into our application. So UI uh, application, which is of course like the instance of the whole application that we can do things. Here's our shared application. Again, that's the actual true instance. Dot um, schedule local notification. Because that's what we're doing. We're scheduling this notification to go off at some point in the future. And we just want to put our notification in there. So now we can run our app our application. Our app starts up. We have our text field. We can type something in here. Press our button, our notification is being sent. Just there comes our notification. As you can see, we have no actions, so we can't put it down. But when we click on it, it opens our app back up. That's useful, brings people back into your app. So you're probably going to want to handle getting information back from that notification. You want to know what notification the user pressed. To do that, we have one final property we're going to add to our notification. So notification dot user info. This is essentially the information that you're sending back to your own app when that notification is pressed. So it's the type directory and you can set whatever values in here you like. But say for example you want to, might want to set the type of notification and the value. So I'm going to use um, users message. So that's what we're sending the notification as. Of course that and text field text. So where does this come back? Well, it comes back in our application delegate, right down at the bottom. We're going to create a new function called application. And as you can see, I've done this already. Did receive. It's you know not far from the top. Bot, uh, it's not far from the top. Autocomplete. Did receive local notification. Click enter. And in here, we can do things once we've received our notification. So for example, you might want to um, trigger a segue to another screen where you handle that notification. I'm just going to print out notification and then that user info value that we sent before. Click enter, a exclamation mark to, hand mark to handle our optional and user message. So this app will print out in the console the message that the user put in. There comes our message notification, press the button, and over here, there is our message in the console. In the next video of this series, I'm going to show you how to add actions to this notification. Make it an action notification where the user can choose what they want to do with the notification 